Now we get to percent yield. So what is yield? Yield is the amount of product made in a chemical reaction. That's how much is yield. There are really three types. Actual yield is what you get when the chemicals are mixed. So after you mix everything in the lab and your product, that's your actual yield, what you get. Theoretical is what the balance equation tells you what you should make. You have your chemical reaction. What we were doing previously to this, we were calculating theoretical yield. For instance, the product in grams that we were, we just been calculating through stoichiometry, that's theoretical yield. That's what we think we should make. Now, the percent yield is the actual yield over theoretical times 100. And that tells us how efficient a reaction is. Because if you get 100% yield, or percent yield, you've done a great job in your lab. Uh, percent yield cannot be bigger than 100%, of course. Let's look at an example now. There's 6.78 grams of copper that is produced when 3.92 grams of aluminum are reacted with excess copper to sulfate. And here's the reaction. And we should be able to come up with that reaction by ourselves or that equation by ourselves now. What is the actual yield? Well, the actual yield is what was made, 6.78 grams. We have the actual yield, 6.78 grams. That's what was produced of copper. What is a theoretical yield? Well, we have to calculate that. We need to calculate that through stoichiometry. And the percent yield, the percent yield just equals the actual yield over theor theoretical yield times 100. So let's try this problem. If we started with 9.73 grams of aluminum, how much copper would you expect? We have 6.78 grams of copper that is produced. So we have, that's the actual yield. When 3.92 grams of aluminum are reacted with excess copper to sulfate. So that means this is the limiting reagent. This is, this is the one in excess. Now on some problems we have to do, we're going to just be given, we have to do limiting reagent and then we still have to do the percent yield. But we're given excess copper so we don't have to figure out, we do not have to figure out um, the limiting reagent. So we know that one already, it's, it's aluminum. So what we're going to do, we're going to go, first thing we're going to go from grams of aluminum. See, what we're trying to figure out is a theoretical yield. What is a theoretical yield of copper? Because we have the actual yield. We have the actual yield. Now we just need a theoretical yield. So let's, the theoretical yield is what we've been doing all along. So really percent yield is, is not difficult at all. It's one extra little step of just putting that over the actual yield which is given and then multiplying by 100. So the, we're going to do grams of aluminum and we want to figure out grams of copper. So that means we have to do what we've been doing all along, moles of aluminum, moles of copper to gram of copper. Okay, nothing different. Um, given 3.92 grams of aluminum and one mole of aluminum and that's 26.98 grams and one mole of aluminum and then we're going to moles of aluminum, moles of copper. We have to look at our equation. So we have two moles of aluminum per three mole of copper. In the third part, we have one mole of copper is 63.55 grams of copper. So um, we expected 13.9 grams of copper to be made. This is, in theory, this is a theoretical yield. So let's find the percent yield, which just equals actual yield divided by theoretical yield times 100. 
Um, so we were half off, so it's probably going to be about a 50%. We have 6.78 is the actual yield divided by 13.9 times 100. So that equals 48.8%. Um, so that's not very good. That's should be, you want as close to 100 as possible. But that's what it is. Okay, now let's try this uh, one. Let's try this problem now. An OCHEM student, that's organic chemistry. That's what we called it back west. Um, people out here call it orgo. We called it OCHEM. Not that it matters. But we actually did this experiment in class for organic chemistry. And in organic chemistry, they will grade you based on how pure your percent yield. And if you have a high, I think you had to have um, 90 something and above in order to get a A or, or it was something like that. Um, so you really had to be careful in the lab. Here we have a student who adds 200 grams of C7H6O3 to an excess of C4H6O2. We want to calculate the percent yield, uh, spelled wrong, if 231 grams of aspirin is actually produced. So we're going to see how well this student did. So we have the um, actual yield. The actual yield is 231 grams. Now we have to figure out the theoretical yield. And that's just going from moles of C78603, that's the limiting reagent, because this is an excess. So we go from moles or grams of C7H6O3. And we have to figure out grams of aspirin. And of course, we have to go to the moles of C7H6O3 to the moles of aspirin to gram of aspirin as our theoretical yield. Okay, and this is nothing different than what we've done before. So let's start with 200 grams of C7H6O3 over 1. And then we have 1 mole of C7H6O3. And how much does that weigh? 138 grams of c 7 h 6 O three. Now, really be, even though this is a long equation, really be conscious of writing the unit and what it is, because you'll get in trouble if you don't otherwise. So don't be lazy, just write all that stuff out. Okay, so this is the first thing we did. Second, right, is the mole to mole ratio. And we have this uh, easy, it's just one to one, so we really don't have to write it, but might as well just. Uh, be consistent. One mole of C7H6O3 to the mole of aspirin, C9H6O4. Now aspirin is actually acetosalicylic acid. That's why some people, it really bothers some people if they take aspirin because it is an acid and it upsets some people's stomach. Uh, and that's one mole of aspirin, C9H6O4, so that's aspirin. That's the mole to mole ratio from the equation. And now we have to go to grams of aspirin. That's just one mole of aspirin. C9H6O4 is aspirin. And the molar mass is um, 180 grams of C9H6O4. So let's calculate our theoretical yield. All right, so that was um, 260 with uh, sig figs, 0.9 grams of copper produced. Now we start with um, our actual yield was 231. If you calculated your theoretical yield as being 200, and your actual yield was 231. You know something's wrong because your theoretical yield should always be more. Uh, if your actual yield is more than the theoretical yield, you did something either wrong in the lab or wrong in your calculations. So let's um, calculate this. If your actual yield is 231.0 grams, uh, so actual yield over theoretical yield 
times 100. We have 231.0 divided by 260.9 and um, multiply by 100. So that equals about 88.54%. And that's actually not a bad um, percentage, especially if you're doing that in OCHEM lab.